Hey everyone, it's Glitchy Mango here. How are you doing today? So I'm just putting some WoW footage in the background. It's just going to be some generic leveling stuff from one to whatever. It's just going to be me playing and I'll run for however long I talk for. Um, it's not going to be too important to this video. So if you want to, you can just like not watch and just have this play in the background or whatever. Entirely up to you. This is going to be more of a talking one. So this is a bit of a new show to the channel. It's called, you know, I am Glitchy, hear me stutter. I've been wanting to do this for a while now. Essentially, I'm just going to talk about mostly just certain news topics or things like that that I feel like talking about and giving my spin on. I'm going to do every so often. I don't expect to get much, if any, views at all for this, but it's just something I wanted to do and just to talk about certain subjects. Every so often a subject comes up and I really want to talk about it on the show, even though I know probably no one's going to watch it. Just don't worry, that won't stop me. I'll talk to thin air all day. I have no issues with that. So basically I'm going to be talking about Nostralia. So Nostralia, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, is a um, WoW legacy server, or rather it's an unofficial WoW legacy server. It's it's a pirate server, really. I don't like using that word because I know a lot of people use this and they don't think of Nostralia as piracy, but it, it is piracy, legally speaking, unfortunately. Um, so what it is, is it's an unofficial legacy server, so WoW doesn't have any legacy server. So what a legacy server is, for anyone who's not familiar with that term, is it's basically a version of a game that no longer exists anymore, normally done for MMOs, and the legacy server basically, you know, has like the older versions of a certain MMO, so that if anyone wants to play the older version of an MMO as opposed to the new one, they can just play the old one which is something I'm all for. However, unfortunately, Blizzard have not been allowing for that for WoW, and they have never at any point allowed for that. So, Nostralius came around, which quite literally did it. Um, it didn't do, I should say, it didn't do it amazingly from what I heard. It had, you know, some bugs and issues. It certainly didn't run flawlessly or anything like that. But it had a pretty good number of players. Um, some people say there was about 500,000 registered players. Some people say it was in the millions. It, it's hard to say really what the real numbers were because you've got to trust the people who made Nostralius and it is in their interest to embellish a little. But I don't think they are. I think they are being honest with their numbers. Anyway, so um, there's mostly two sides of this argument. So there's one side that people like John Tron and uh, Soda Poppin are on, where they feel that Blizzard should not have shut down Nostralia. Sorry, I didn't mention that. Nostralia was basically received a DMCA, like a uh, cease and desist order from Blizzard, basically stop or we'll sue the lights out of you and take a ton of your money. Um, so, unfortunately, Nostralia has shut down. That happened a bit ago. I am coming a bit late to this conversation, but I wanted to cover a part of the conversation that I feel people haven't really been talking about. So, anyway, back on subject. So, Soda Poppin, John Trump, people like that are on the opinion of that the server should not have been shut down. Now, the reason they feel that is because WoW has, in their opinion, sort of gone downhill. And if you look at the sub numbers, it has gone downhill. Like, there's no arguing that. WoW has dropped off quite a lot in terms of sub numbers. So a lot of players do feel that it has gone downhill and they want to play the old vanilla WoW. And Blizzard wasn't letting them do that, so they played on Australia's, which is fair enough. But again, it is piracy and I don't condone that sort of thing. I can understand why you would want to play in Australia's and I wouldn't hold it against you, but it is still piracy and I don't condone piracy regardless of the form. Piracy is still piracy and it's something that as gamers we kind of need to stop doing because it's causing a lot of problems in the industry. Um, now the other side of the argument is um, I'm glad someone actually came out and spoke for this side because a lot of people have been coming out of the woodwork to support Nostralius when they didn't really give a shit about it or even really know that it was there or support it when it was on or play it regularly. There were a lot of people who just came out of the woodworks to get views to you know just make money off it basically. But other people have come out to support Blizzard on their decision. Um, one of those, probably the most noticeable, uh, notable is Total Biscuit. He feels that it was the correct thing for Blizzard to do for them to shut down Australia's. Um, a lot of that reasoning is because of the way property um, IP works. It, when it comes to your IP, you have to... In most countries, you have to really protect your IP, otherwise you, like, aggressively, otherwise you run the risk of losing it, which basically means that 
you know, where our uh, Blizzard, sorry, had to step up to Australia's, otherwise they could run into problems with their IP, and basically anyone could run a legacy server or unofficial WoW servers, and that could become a problem. Potentially, though, I don't know everything about the law, and I don't know if it'd get that bad, and I'm pretty sure it wouldn't. But, again, like, I I'm not an expert, especially when it comes to American law. I know a little bit of Australian law, but American law, I really don't know what I'm talking about, to be honest. I know a little bit. Like, my knowledge is very limited. I don't think um, it would be the end of the world if they didn't shut Australia down, but I definitely understand why they did, and that decision I do agree with. But I don't agree with everything that Blizzard did, which I am going to talk about. And I'm not on TB's side, nor am I on John Tribe's side. I'm kind of in the middle. Um, I have my own views about how I feel the whole thing should have gone and what I feel Blizzard should have done, which is why I'm making this video to discuss that. So that's pretty much the two sides of the argument. Um, one side, you know, was perfectly happy with shutting it down. The other side wanted it to stay. But it's understandable, both sides. Um, so I want to talk about... Uh, Sorry, just give me two seconds here to read my script. I know I'm being a bit unprofessional. Uh, so I feel that Blizzard could have handled it better. Um, when it comes to legacy servers, I really, really believe in um, legacy servers. Well, when it comes to MMOs in general, particularly older MMOs that are going to be staying around for a long time. Now, it's a fair thing to say that when WoW first came out, it was pretty clear it was going to be something that would stick around, simply because of how massive it became in short a period of time, and it just kept getting bigger and bigger. Now, legacy servers, as long as you have the money, you should be doing them in an MMO, I feel. I don't think you need to do them for, like, every expansion, and I can understand, like, more modern MMOs that aren't going to stick around for that long. You know, an MMO that's only going to be around for, like, six years, and then it's going to close, get close the gate or whatever i can understand not wanting to do legacy servers but for an mmo that's going to be around for a really long time and wow certainly has you really should be considering legacy servers at all points and i definitely feel that blizzard should have done them blizzard have been very clear in the past that they do not want to do legacy servers they've also been really basically dickish about how they've um you know, responded to people asking because almost every year at BlizzCon people always very consistently ask them are you going to do legacy servers they always say no and in some cases they've literally gone, you think you want that but you don't, I hate that I know sometimes consumers can be wrong I've seen cases where consumers ask for things, they get them and then it turns out the consumers didn't want them at want that thing at all, that happens quite a lot in this industry unfortunately but it's very clear that people want like vanilla WoW servers. People were playing on Australia's quite a few, even though it was piracy. People were taking that risk anyway, just because they really wanted to play. So there's clearly a demand there, and there's clearly people who want to play it. That's not arguable. People want to play. Like that is not up for debate. And Blizzard on that stance saying people don't want it, they're wrong. Like they're just flat out wrong. People very clearly want to play it, and that's very corporate structure to be like, you don't want this, you want that. It's like no, no. No, that that's just corporate structure bullshit. That's Wrong. not what um, people want. People do want legacy servers for almost every major MMO. Um, now I want to use the example. I want to talk about Jagex. Um, I think that's the right name, and they sure. did uh, RuneScape. You might be aware of, and they're a pretty big MMO. They were Flash based for a while. I know now they mostly oh, run out of an actual client, and they've improved a lot over the years. I used to play oh, their games oh. when I was a kid um, at the local library, and I quite enjoyed that. Anyway. They've had legacy servers really consistently. I remember when, um, with RuneScape, they used to have, like, the regular RuneScape, and it was just called RuneScape, and then they released what was called RuneScape 2, which I'm sure is now under a different name, I believe. And when they did that, um, they still had the RuneScape servers up. Eventually, they took them down for a bit, but then they brought them back up under the name RuneScape Classic, and I believe RuneScape 2 just became RuneScape if I recall correctly, and they had those legacy servers for as long as I was with the game anyway, but then eventually I stopped playing, and I know they did eventually, I believe, stop those original legacy servers, but then, you know, they changed RuneScape again, and then they added new legacy servers for the other versions, and things like that, and basically what they're doing is, like, they're saving the states of, you know, the previous servers, and then they're uploading them as legacy servers, and this is something that Blizzard 
isn't doing and i just bring this up just to show that this is something that can be done and other mmos have been doing it and runescape was around the time of wow and it was doing this around the time of wow in fact i think it did it a bit earlier like blizzard had a lot of opportunities to do wow servers and they consistently just i uh, sorry wow legacy servers and they consistently just didn't do it like they've just flat out refused um they're saying that you know at the moment they never saved the states of their servers which basically means they would probably have to recreate them unless they could find somebody who did save the states on this of their servers on some kind of super illegal system which i highly doubt um i'm not too familiar with game design but i think you could probably do that but i doubt that would ever happen they would probably have to recreate the original servers or something like that I and mean, it would be a nightmare to do like it'd be really hard and it'd take a really long time and blizzard have basically said they're not sure they can commit the resource well they haven't said that but a lot of people feel that blizzard just don't want to commit the resources to something they feel might not do that well now the thing i want to say is that um you know, if blizzard didn't save their legacy servers that's kind of their problem and the reason i say that is that that's just something they should have done like it's foresight it's something that you know they should have done from the beginning jagex have done it uh everquest you know it was done for that it was done for many other big mmos that have been around for a long time and it's just something that you should do if you don't save your server states that's a problem on your end that is not something that should screw over the consumer so um even though you know they haven't done that um you know what has happened is Australia has come along and recreated the whole thing oh sorry i just wanted to use one other example first beforehand so i want to talk about um like going back to whole you know you don't force problems onto the consumer i want to use the example of like a cook for like what blizzard is doing in regards to like wow legacy service it's kind of the example of like a cook and say you order a steak at a restaurant or whatever and it takes two hours to cook right pretty unacceptable and it comes out and yeah sure it's fine and things like that but you know obviously it took way too long and the cook's just like oh it doesn't matter it's you know it, it took forever i don't care there it is or it's shit and it's like doesn't matter there it is it's a case of like the cook screwed up his job and now he needs to correct it and normally in that sort of circumstance in a, uh, in a restaurant that would be a refund yeah um so you know it's the cook's problem like basically the cook screwed up the cook didn't do what he was supposed to do and the consumer shouldn't have to pay for that that's not how it works so the consumer gets a refund or a free meal or whatever if the cook screwed up the steak or something like that whereas here you know blizzard haven't done you know wow legacy servers and they've basically just palmed the problem off to consumers and been like sorry it's not our issue that we didn't save our server states it's your issue um which isn't how it works and isn't consumer friendly or fair to the consumer at all Oh, there's something else I wanted to talk about in regards to that as well, but I'm sure it'll come to me um, anyway. So, what I feel, Nost well, what Blizzard should have done with Nostrelius, um, what I would have done in their circumstances, I still would have done the DMCR, I still would have done the cease and desist. I think that was the correct thing to do, and I agree with that. But what I would have done differently in their shoes is I would have taken Nostrelius on board. Because, like, say, you know, let's say I was Blizzard, you know, I was in charge of the corporate structure or whatever, and, you know, for whatever reason, I made the bad decision to not save, um, you know, save states. I would have already, you know, gone ahead and started making WoW Legacy servers anyway, because that's something that consumers want, and Blizzard definitely has the money to do it. But let's say, you know, for whatever reason, I didn't do that, and then Australia's came along. What I would do is I would do the DMCA like Blizzard did, but where I would differ is I would take Australia's on board and make them a part of Blizzard and use their servers, their WoW legacy servers that they've created, as WoW legacy servers on Blizzard. Now, as an official server and it's also worth noting um, i'm not sure if this is true but some people have said that in australia have our uh, dedicated support teams and things like that so obviously i would bring that on board as well and i would probably wouldn't need to give them much resources at all i'd just have to pay them a fair wage which is fair enough and definitely something blizzard can afford to do i'm pretty sure and you know 
that's going to give us basic WoW legacy servers. I would put them down as like an alpha stage because as I mentioned earlier, a lot of people said, you know, there's a lot of issues with those servers. They aren't ready. So I'd say these are the WoW, vanilla WoW legacy servers and this is them, you know, in their alpha state. It could take us years to get them fully released and in a great product, but you know, I'm aware this is something that consumers want. We have an opportunity to give it to you. Here you go. That's what I personally would have done. That's what I feel Blizzard should have done. I think they've handled the whole thing really awfully. Um, they kind of remind me of like a three-year-old kid where they, you know, their parents won't let them have a certain toy or they can't have a certain toy, so they don't want anybody else to play with it. That's kind of how the whole thing feels. And that's pretty much what they're doing, you know, like the vanilla servers are, you know, the toy in this instance. Blizzard is the, f the three-year-old or the five-year-old kid. You know, someone else had the toy and Blizzard wanted to take it away so that the other children couldn't play with it. That's essentially what happens. It's just a, it's a really juvenile thing. Like, I know it's more to it than that. It's, you know, all sorts of legal dramas and things like that. But Blizzard definitely could have handled this better. I think they handled it really, really poorly. And they've shown how, you know, sort of corporate they've gotten by not, you know, just, you know, like, I agree with the DMCA. I know how, you know, Oh, I have an idea of how, you know, IP property law works. And I understand that, you know, they want to protect their IP. And I probably would have done the same thing. But it's then, you know, you could have done something with Nostrelis. You didn't have to, like, completely shut it down and kill it. You could have incorporated that into your structure and use that as WoW Legacy servers. But instead, Blizzard just refuses to do WoW Legacy servers, which is really annoying. I know a lot of people have boycotted them because of this. I don't blame anyone for doing that. I completely understand, and that's the best power you have as a consumer, unfortunately. It's kind of sad that our best power as a consumer is to not give people money, but that is just how it works. Um... So yeah, that's pretty much my stance on it. I just feel Blizzard could have handled it better. I feel it could have gone poorly. I don't agree necessarily. I agree with aspects of both sides, both on like, you know, the TB Blizzard side and the Soda Pop and John uh, Jontron side. I agree with like both sides of the argument. But at the same time, I'm sort of disagreeing with both as well. I just feel like this whole thing should have been handled better. I don't agree with piracy, but I also don't agree with how Blizzard handled this. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much my thoughts on the issue. Um, let me know what you guys think. I'd love to hear your opinions and things like that. Um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.